Hey everybody, how you all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Man as a respect man. Are your girl Debbie from Donga Yard? Oh no pretty? Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome to the Jamaican cooking journey. Old and new subscribers alike, welcome you all today to this is just a like I saw a little economizing video. As you can see, my work here, we don't have a lot of pots and pans and herbs and all of that. This video has been on my mind for the longest while, and I just want to slip it in today. Now, I want to teach you all, so to speak, how you can go about getting your butter beans, your butter beans done at home. Homemade butter beans. And as I said, it's an economizing video. You can... Uh, you, you can you it show it shows you how you can make your own butter beans which with a small amount that goes a long way now this is what these are broad beans so these are what you what, when you bought when you buy them sorry this is how you get them they are dried so you've got to soak them and when you soak soak them you soak them for at least six hours to get them rehydrated and they will come to this size okay y'all so when you soak them you soak them in a this is like i have some over here that is coming to the boil okay so these were from it so i left them out to show you so they're all in there so you soak, when you soak them you don't throw the water off this is half a pound okay y'all and this is what it looks like when it was soaked right back over here and this is like a quarter of a pound. So what I have in the pot there now that has been soaked or rehydrated is like two times the size of this before I soaked it. So what I have in there now is two times the amount of this So before I soak it. I hope, hope you're all here and I hope you're all there. So over here we have it with the water that we have pre-soaked it in. We haven't thrown off the water. And this is the size of it. Now to this, you know, it's butter beans. We ain't got any, when I had a lot of stuff because the store-bought ones have like preservatives and stuff and you know butter beans are supposed to be white and all of that but i'm gonna show you i'm gonna do mine okay y'all so you're gonna put a little salt to taste not too much because you want it to cook with the salt so that it can that the beans of itself can absorb that saltiness when i say saltiness i don't mean extra salt that when you have your, your, your oxtail or your turkey neck or whatever you want to put, to put your beans with. The beans doesn't have a fresh flavor. It has a little salt, you know, embedded inside the bean of itself and not only in the water. So you're going to salt it to your perfection. So I put a, like about half of a teaspoon in this. And I think this is good because the butter has a little salt in there. So now we want a little flavor. So we're going to smash three large pegs of garlic and you want it to cook out in there I'm gonna use the pressure cooking method you can go ahead if you have a slow cooker it goes well in there or if you have your insta pot or you can just simply cook it in a saucepan on the stove but you got to be um, real careful watching it from time to time because when it starts boiling it froth it gets frothy and the froth will just come right over and push over the cover of the saucepan and all of that so you got to be real careful when cooking it atop the stove in a saucepan now it has come it is coming to the boil and this is the amount of water we have inside here remember i'm using the pressure cooking method so i've put three pegs of garlic crush and i want them to to cook out you know the pressure cooking method soft and things so i want the garlic to cook and get soft or probably softer than the bean so this is what it looks like when it starts boiling so just half a pound of broad beans pre-soaked three large pegs of garlic and a little salt probably about half a teaspoon of salt to taste now it starts boiling so we're gonna pour probably remember pressure cooking you just want it to barely cover the thing but it's already covered so we're gonna want to have a little extra water to it so we're putting in a little more so now get right in you notice it is boiling and none isn't coming on top because it's properly soaked so the trick to this you have got to let your beans be properly soaked 
so everybody when they are cooked they will be at the same 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 texture not some a little hardish or chewy and some soft when you soak it and you cook it everybody will come at the same texture now i'm gonna cover my pressure cooker okay it's boiling rigorous boiling up there now so i'm gonna cover your okay and we are not going to do it on high heat. We are going to do it on medium heat. Reason? The froth, when it starts pressuring cooking, the froth is going to come right up to around here where the steam comes out or probably somewhere right around. It will force its way and come right through and make bubbles when it's on too much of a high heat. Same thing is as if you are cooking it on the stove top. You can't cook it on a high heat. You've got to cook it on a medium to low heat because it will froth over. So you've got to do the same thing in the pressure cooker. So we're gonna leave that for about 15 minutes from the steam, start building up in there. So when we return, you're gonna see how we, we go about putting our butter, the amount of butter we put, what the consistency and the salt, the, 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 not gravy, but the sauce that it comes in. I wanna show you how the homemade one is gonna look as opposed to the store-bought one. Okay, y'all?